good YouTube is Gabriel just another fan TV back at another video like the content of this video go ahead and smash that like button like the content on this channel go ahead and hit subscribe uh, Ravens news coming at you daily um, if you're new to the channel like him my Ravens talk NFL talk go ahead and hit subscribe man so uh, you know something crazy I'm doing <laughs> completely unrelated I'm doing a dynasty league we've been drafting in this dynasty league for a week straight and there ain't no time clock no limit so I was drafted in this league we got 22 players, but, you know, whatever. Shout out to my boy Marcellus, right, running, running the league. So the Ravens just signed um, Demarcus Robinson, okay? Um, now I just want to bring down the sign and what it means for the Ravens and, you know, go from there, right? So let's give a little backstory. Back here on Demarcus Robinson. University of Florida, 27 years old right now. Fun fact, his uncle, Marcus Robinson, actually played for the Baltimore Ravens in 2003. I thought that was pretty interesting looking that up. Uh, his best season, 466 yards. Uh, he had 14 touchdowns in as far as his whole career, six years. He started 42 games, so a lot of experience. He's played in 97 games total. Um, his The most snaps he's played for the Chiefs as far as a percentage, he played 70% of the snaps. So for a good offense. So, you know, that's that, that's cool. And um, this year he was on the Raiders practice squad, got cut, and now he's with the Baltimore Ravens. All right, so that, that, that's where we're at with Demarcus Robinson. Now, what as far as this means for the team, I kind of said it yesterday, you know, in the, in the comment section of the video from yesterday. It doesn't move the needle too much. It does give the Ravens a quote-unquote veteran presence. Um, and he's done some things on the field, you know. He has a, he has over a 1,000 yards in his career as far as, you know, just the total of, throughout the six years. Um, you know, 14 touchdowns, nothing to, nothing to sneeze at, nothing like that. I just feel, though, I feel the same way as I felt yesterday, that you could sign somebody – who has veteran presence and moves the needle on the field. The Marcus Robinson doesn't really do that for me. Uh, but I'm not going to complain about the signing because he's a solid player. You know, he's a veteran presence in the locker room, and that's what he's going to bring. And he's shorthanded. I, I haven't really I looked into him, wasn't really too much about drops and stuff like that. So the Ravens add a guy where it's a little bit more reliable right now. Now, what does this mean for the roster as it stands? I don't think it affects the top three guys at all. You know, Bateman, Prochet, Duvernay. I don't think it affects them in, in any in any shape or form. Now, where it gets interesting is four and five. That's where it gets interesting at, because the Ravens signed Demarcus Robinson. They put money into Demarcus Robinson. You would have to assume that he's at least wide receiver four, right? So now that battle that was down for uh, for. For two spots, it might be down to one spot. Now, Robinson is still going to have to go out there and earn it. If he doesn't play well in the short camp, they're going to go with two guys, to two, two younger guys over him. But I would assume that he's going to be solid enough, play well enough, that he's going to be on the 53. That's just my assumption. Now, things could change. So that fifth wide receiver spot gets interesting. Now, we're talking about, you know, Jalen Moore, Shamar Bridges, um, Makai Polk, Tylen Wallace, all fighting for that spot. Now, Tyron Wallace was a guy that was a shoe in right? And, you know, things have happened, injuries, play dipping a little bit in training camp, at which has led to this point of we're not sure what Tyron Wallace is right now, okay? Um, I think he's very, very talented. I don't think he's in danger of being cut per se, but I don't know. You know, you, you just don't know. When guys are playing better, you have to assume that they're, they're arising up the depth chart, you know? Ravens don't play favoritism, usually. They play the best guy, usually. So we'll, we'll go from there. But as far as Demarcus Robinson, the Ravens did a move where they went out and got a player on a veteran market that they said, hey, look, this nice guy is not going to cost too much money. He's not going to cost too much trouble as far as uh, expecting to get a this amount of targets. And he's just going to be a solid contributor, which, which is fine, right? I mean... Like I said, to me, the guy that, that was out there that's still out there is a guy like Will Fuller. He gives you a veteran presence, and then he also gives you a guy that can stretch the field and add on-field ability and actually adds another dynamic to this offense. Um, Demarcus Robinson, you know, he's a bigger receiver. I believe, I believe he's around like uh, 6'1", something like that. So he adds that element where he could be an outside receiver that, you know, maybe you could – I don't want to say throw something up to, but a guy where – he could use his body in a more effective way than, say, like a Devin DuVernay or a James Prochet could just because he's a little bigger than those guys. Um, but this kind of leads to the trend where the Ravens, they they draft, not draft, sorry, they sign guys, sign veteran guys, 
that it, it just doesn't do much. It just doesn't do much. You know, when this season is over and we look back, I don't think this is just my opinion. I don't think we're going to be saying, yeah, that Demarcus Robinson move, that was an underrated move in the offseason. Now, if I'm wrong, I hope I'm wrong. I really do. Because if I'm wrong, that means he contributed to the team in significant ways and helped help the Ravens win games moving forward. But this just kind of seems like a sign to say, hey, look, we signed a veteran. You know, we said we were going to explore our options, and this is the option we came up with. We signed Demarcus Robinson. Now, this is nothing against Demarcus Robinson. He's solid. He's okay. The Ravens could have got guys that were better than solid, better than okay throughout this reading process and decided not to. For whatever reason that may be, that's what, that's what happened. Now, when it comes to this season, um, he could have the kind of impact like a guy. I mean, you know, we don't want to mention the name too much, but, but Seth Roberts. When Seth Roberts was here, he was okay when he got in the game. He did things here and there. But I know the biggest thing that sticks out in people's minds about Seth Roberts is, you know, dropping that ball in the playoff game versus the Titans that probably would have been a touchdown the way he was, you know, running across the field, would have caught it, probably would have probably would have scored on that play. Um, but that's the kind of impact that I expect him to have. You know, add two, three hundred yards maybe and go from there. Um the biggest thing that I see about this is I want to know what's the what's the status of James Prochet. They say it's a muscular injury, say it's one to two weeks. We're at about close to a week and a half now because he got injured presumably like on a like last Tuesday or last uh, Wednesday, something like that, because he didn't play in the preseason game. So um, it had to be around that time. So we're, we're around a week and a half now. And I'm just wondering about his injury status. How is he feeling? Is everything progressing with him? Because if it is, then this the Marcus Robinson sign. And it's just insurance and just it's just depth on the team. And I'm cool with that. Um, as far as, like I said, his impact, I, I, w- I really wouldn't expect too much. Honestly, I wouldn't. Um, he's not a blazer. He's he's a, he's a taller receiver, you know, 6'1", but I wouldn't say he's a he's a jump ball guy. I mean, I did say he could use his body earlier, but that's two different things. Like, you know, what you're going to be doing with a guy like Shamar Bridges ain't going to be the same thing you're going to be doing with um, Demarcus Robinson. Or even Rashad Bateman. We saw Rashad Bateman go up and get the ball uh, a couple times last year, so... Um, the Ravens signed a guy because a guy was available on the market. It didn't really, to me, it didn't really change the landscape of the wide receiver position. Um, it's only a couple of guys that can do that, you know, and most of those guys have been signed already. The one guy, like I said, that's still out there that hasn't been signed is, is a Will Fuller, but he's probably waiting for the season to start, see if any injuries happen, then he'll probably sign with somebody. Um, so, yeah, man, the Ravens signed to Marcus Robinson. He's going to be that quote-unquote veteran presence in the locker room help the young guys out, and we'll go from there. I mean, starting 42 games in the NFL, playing in 97 games total is impressive. It's nothing to sneeze at. So he has, and also he's the Super Bowl champion with the, with the Chiefs. So he has big game experience, and that could be helpful. He could help the guys. Um, it's just not something that's going to wow as far as on the field ability, on the field talent. But good veteran move by the Ravens. Um, he's a solid player. Nothing against Demarcus Robinson. I think he can help in some ways. It just won't be uh, major ways how Ravens fans might have been hoping a, a receiver signing would would, would uh, uh, impact the team. And that's going to be that, man. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to be doing a uh, the video about the Ravens training camp, the, the takeaways I got from it. I'm going to release that tomorrow. And um, I'll see you guys then, man. It's your boy Gabriel. This is the Fan TV. I'm out.